Here's how to make a pretty good peanut butter protein smoothie, but an awful smoothie bowl. See, I was trying this recipe out for the first time, unknowing that I put entirely too much coconut milk in. Learned real soon after that smoothie bowls typically call for only about an eighth of a cup or so of liquid per cup of frozen fruit. But really, the biggest mistake was not cutting my losses early enough and pouring this into a glass. Instead, I topped it with a bit of granola and apples, which just kind of sunk through this somewhat solid, somewhat liquid kind of ordeal. See, now, the smoothie itself tasted pretty incredible, but the consistency just was not there. And to make things worse, I attempted too late to cut my losses to go back to smoothie style, and honestly, I don't know how else to say it other than chunky smoothie deeply unsettling. Attempt number one at smoothie bowls was unsuccessful, but oh well, they can't all be winners.